We've got some work happening here at the allotments. It's, uh, it's gas. Blimey. The compressor is called Airman. It kind of spoils the uh, peace and tranquility of the allotment, doesn't it? Anyway. Hello, good morning and welcome to the allotment. Construction has begun. Never mind. Maybe we can find something to compensate the noise. A lot of butterflies around, blimey. <gasps> Look at the fluttering and a buttering and a fluttering of the cabbage whites. I'm always, I always forget, you know, cabbage whites are actually active quite late, aren't they? The, uh, what are these called? Michaelmas, Michaelmas daisies, are they? No, they're kind of, uh, they're all starting to open. Excellent, I love these, they look really great. It is a really sunny day today. I brought my sunglasses. It's pretty warm as well. It's November the 4th. It's a, it's a Monday. Uh, it's a national holiday here in Japan. It is Bunka no Hi, which is culture day. It's culture day. So later on, I'll be uh, analyzing Dante's Inferno. I'll be reciting verses from Captain Beefheart's Trap Mask replica. And I will be um, reciting haikus. So please stay tuned until the end of the video, as always. Anyway, here we are. What's been happening? Let's have a look. Bit of a difference, isn't it? We've got one, two, three, four, four Chinese leaves, or haksai, and uh, this one looks a little bit eaten. That one is okay. We've got that black kale. This one's looking good. Oh, what's this? Oh my God. It's got a baby on the top. Quick, John, get the other camera. Okay. Well, the turmeric uh, still looks still looks good. As you can see, uh, it's still looking pretty green. A uh, few tears from the wind, but uh, and if you go down a little lower, there is some uh, yellowing of lower leaves. But those stems are looking they look, they look really strong, don't they? They're looking great. So a little um, a tree. Um, look at that, that's really strong. And here as well. Got another one of those uh, grasshopper things. But yeah, the, uh, the leaves are looking uh, particularly strong. Uh, they are not yellowing. I, they'll probably start to, I mean, they will, they will start to turn soon and they'll, I mean, it is not cold. Uh, I'm, I'm quite hot actually in this. It's still t-shirt weather. So we, we're into that type of weather now that in Japanese they call Akibare. Aki is autumn and bare is like clear. So it's this clear autumn weather. Uh, we did have a lot of rain. It rained last night, but it is now, uh, it's now you're very clear still. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful day. I've just spotted, um, I, I think I mentioned in the last video about uh, peppers, uh, chili peppers, and uh, I've suddenly become very interested in peppers. <laughs> Those are little red Japanese chili peppers. Those are uh, red togarashi. Togarashi is the hot pepper and um, 
yeah I become kind of interested and in, uh, next year I want to grow some hot peppers maybe some scotch bonnet and uh, habanero and uh, some jalapenos I recently learned about the Scoville heat units and I watched a video about I think I mentioned this in a previous video I watched a, uh, a video about um, the Carolina Reaper which is the currently the hottest chili in the world at about uh, 1.6 to 2 million Scoville units um, slice them up and put them in a salad a little Carolina Reaper salad anyone I still haven't put anything here and it's getting a little late now so <sighs> I don't where does the time go hey where does the time go who knows where the time goes as Sandy Denny so beautifully sang who knows I don't know but it does go hey eh? here we are in November and uh, Halloween is behind us, Christmas is uh, bearing down on us and then before you know it it'll be 2020 and it'll be Olympic year here in Tokyo. Um, you may have seen the news about the Olympic, uh, the marathon, Paralympic marathon and the 50k walk. The IOC decided in their wisdom to move it to a thousand kilometers north to Sapporo and you know, you could debate uh, the the uh, whether that's a good idea or not, a good decision. But the way they made the decision really, you know, put a lot of people's backs up. Especially the mayor of Tokyo, Mrs. Koike. She was really pissed off. Oh, and um, I was I was disappointed, you know, because I had tried so far. I've tried three times to get tickets and not a sausage, and. Um, I think I'll have a few more chances, but each, each time they release more tickets, the odds are, you know, are less and less. So 
but I was kind of thinking, well, at least I can see the marathon, you know, that's something. I can watch some elite runners flying past and then, no, you can't, unless you go to Sapporo. So it's not quite the same, is it? So yeah, that was very disappointing. Well, <laughs> that's it. Um, I haven't really done very much. I've just come down to check on things. I have nothing new to plan, but it's really nice to be down here. And as I said, there is no one here except just me and the butterflies and the guys working on the gas mains. Um, but I think it's time to go home. Um, going to a concert this evening, going to see the Stranglers. Remember the Stranglers? No more heroes anymore. So I'm going to go and see them in a tiny club in uh, Shibuya. Um, but until next time, this is John saying thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.